Hey everyone, it's me, Jimmy Conrad, your favorite MLS player of all time. And now that I've stopped kicking the ball around with other grown men in small shorts, someone had the good idea of giving me the platform to interview important people in the game. And first up is the newest member of the Seattle Sounders, Clint Dempsey. On the show my friends like to call MLS Insider. So Clint, when you left the league in 2006, for all intents and purposes, you were a kid with something to prove. And now, seven years, you come back as a man, and some would say the man, and as a bona fide American superstar. How does that feel? I wouldn't want to say the man. <laughs> I would say it feels good to come back to the States. Uh, I'm excited about you know, coming home and uh, continuing the growth of the league. But I uh, wanted to try myself at the highest level and, and see where that would take me. Now, what was the tipping point, the moment where you thought that this was the right decision to come back for you and your family? I mean, was it something that Spurs did? You know, somebody they signed? Or was it simply watching your kids play in the backyard in London and thinking, you know what, it's time to go home? I think it was a little bit of everything. Every time where I come back, it got more difficult to go back to preseason. You can see, like, my grandparents starting to get older. I just want to be around there for them, too, you know, because uh, life is short and you want to make the most of it. So like throughout my career, it's always been that balance of trying to accomplish your goals, but at the same time, not forgetting about family. You know, I still want to test myself and still want to do well when I come back. And it's important for me to come back when I'm in my prime and not when I'm past it, because coming back to, to be successful. But, you know, uh, being around family played a large uh, role in that. There's been a lot of discussion around the World Wide Web talking about your return to MLS and how it could diminish your skills for next summer's World Cup, which uh is a complete joke and doesn't dignify a response. However, bringing the World Cup into the conversation, how much consideration do you give an event that happens every four years on, on a decision that you're making that's going to affect your everyday life? Yeah, another good question, man. You're on fire. Uh, what I would say is uh, you, you want to do well in the World Cup. You only can play in a certain amount of World Cups. You're lucky if you can even play in one. But the most important thing is to be confident and to be, you know, feeling good about your play and, and, and the style that you're playing. Because I think you can play for a really, you know, top team. And if you're not playing consistently, well, then your confidence is not going to be there. Mm -hmm. In an ideal situation, you want to be playing on a top team and, and playing all the time. You also have to look at some of the MLS players that get called into the national team camp. They're able to compete with guys from Europe mm -hmm. for a spot in that starting 11 to, to play in these World Cup qualifying matches. So it shows you that doesn't matter what league you're playing in, long as you're playing and you're playing good and consistently, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to help the team and you're, you're going to be able to put yourself in a position to be in the starting 11 come the World Cup. Now, one of the ramifications of your decision to come back could be that you could face some obstacles that were similar to what David Beckham faced when he joined the Galaxy, which was kind of threw their salary, their leadership, their attention off balance and kind of threw stuff out of whack and it took them a few years to figure it out. Is that a concern for you? Or are you doing anything to ensure that that doesn't happen with Seattle? Well, all I can control is just going out, working hard every day in training, uh, doing the best that I can to try to help the team win games, uh, be a good teammate. You know, if someone has questions, be able to be there for them, give them a little bit of what I've learned through my experience. Maybe it can help them. I'm just going to be me. And, you know, hopefully that works out. You know, I'm not going to try to, you know, to, to change. Now, many players, fans, coaches, and myself included, considered you the torchbearer of uh, Americans in Europe. And your stubborn persistence to be great was our collective stubborn persistence to be great. Did you ever feel that weight of responsibility and that maybe by leaving you're maybe letting us down? I didn't feel that responsibility. Uh, I mean, selfishly, I was just trying to do well for myself and my family. And it was difficult over there, uh, coming off the bench a little bit, but then ending the season well, getting the goal that kept the team up, and then going through all the different managers. I, had, I didn't have time to think about anything else than, okay, new manager's coming in. How am I going to make a difference? How am I going to get into this starting lineup? While I was over there, I was just trying to do me, you know, play the best soccer that I could play, enjoy it, take care of my family. And when I got called into the national team, try to do well when, when I was there. I think if you start thinking about too much outside of soccer, I think you can get, get off track and you can start to lose who you are mm -hmm. because you're trying to please other people. And if you try to please other people, then you're not always going to be happy. So as long as I can look myself in the mirror and be happy with, with the man that, that I've become and, and my kids can look up to and my parents can look, 
look down at, then, you know, I'm happy. I can't wait to see what your impact is for Major League Soccer and to see how you inspire the kids of this country. So welcome back, Mr. Clint Dempsey. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.